Hi, I'm Brent Johnson, and today I'm in Warrensburg, Missouri at First United Methodist Church. With me is Michael Quimby. You're a member of the church here, aren't you? Yes. Um, Michael is also president of the Quimby Pipe Organ Company here in Warrensburg, and uh, Quimby Pipe Organ Company built this instrument. You've been working on this for a lot of years, I understand, from its original uh, incarnation. Tell me, well, first of all, uh, what this organ was originally. It was a 1906 Bennett Bennett in the built in Moline, Illinois, okay. with tubular pneumatic action. Oh, very good. But it, was it here in this church? No, with the instrument was originally located in the uh, Methodist Episcopal North congregation, oh. which was two blocks south of here. Okay, and then and during the merger, this building was in the better condition mm. since this was the old South Church. So they moved here, moved here, brought the organ with them, and remodeled because in the original arrangement, this building was laid out in an Akron plan. Okay. Right. And so far, I have not been able to ascertain at all what was in here before. <laughs> well, so this instrument made its home here. Um, first of all, it's, it's grown since its original inception as a Bennett. But tell me, what, what were the Bennett stops that are still existing uh, here today? The diapason, mm -hmm. uh, the whole, whole flute, which was called a melody, a dulciana, and a four-foot flute in the grate. Four ranks in the grate. And in the swell, we had a gedect, a solitional. Celeste, um, an eight foot open, which is now playing at four foot pitch, and a harmonic flute, and an oboe, and in the pedal, a 16 foot Borden, and a Dulciana 16. Okay, so we had 12 ranks total that came in. It's expanded since then, but I want to I want to start with just these these uh, Bennett stops first, um, and just let's do a little bit and see how sure. they. Sure. First of all, and I know some some revoicing and rescaling has happened. So we're going to start with the eight foot diapason. Tell me what's happened with this. Uh, the diapason was uh, reduced in scale one note. It was deslotted. It was on the quick side voicing, so to speak, and then it's uh, had the language raised. Okay, let's see what it sounds like. That's still a, a very early 20th century sound, big, big, but broad. still a nice train of yeah. harmonics. Yeah, no, it's very it's colorful. It's a nice baritone sound. Yeah, and uh, we should probably mention that the organ is all here in the chancel. Yes. On two chambers, the grate on this side behind uh, yes. us, and then the swells over there. Swell on the opposite. And it, it needs to speak out into the room, so we want that big, uh, big bright sound. Let's hear it a little higher up. It's got that got brightness to it, but it's still a big broad scale. So I can't imagine when it was even uh, its original sound, how much that how it dark that was, must have been. Uh, <laughs> different than it is today. <laughs> well, going on up, the next we have what's called a whole flute, but you said was melodia originally. Melodia, right? and it hasn't been changed at all. Oh, really? Just regulated. Yeah, very lovely flute there. Okay, not touched at all, so very good. Um, and then next is the Dulciana. Dulciana. That's really soft. Very soft. And and the grade is completely expressive. Yes. So I can close that down. I'll be happy if the microphones can hear that out there in the room. That's so <laughs> soft, it really fades away to nothing. Okay. And then we also had a stopped flute, um, a four-foot flute that was in the Bennett. Was Bennett. it called a stopped flute originally? Oh, uh, called Flute de Moore. Very colorful little chir chirpy flute. Nice, delicate scale. Mm -hmm. And then with that gentle uh, flute, the eight-foot flute. And almost both of them together are much bigger than either one of them alone. It really make, makes it bloom. That's they blend very well. Right. Well, that was everything on the grate that was original. So let's come over to the swell. Um, the first stop is our gedect. Yes. All right. It's original. Um, 
even with its boomy base. I say it's very colorful and trouble is appeared, especially but lovely. It gets really big down there. Yes. <laughs> All right. And then next was a veal de gamba, which was called a solitional. Okay. And it's been uh, rescaled four notes mm. and no slots with that and the celeste. It's really bright and edgy. You, you scaled it down to make it brighter or up to make it <laughs> fuller? Fuller, really? It and was it's, rather scratchy. It's a little scratchy still. And it was soft. <laughs> and there are okay. 10 pipes. Oh, okay, so that explains some of the, the quality, but because it all is enclosed, we can close it down. Yes. And you know, that cuts some of the edge down, makes it a little more mellow there. Of course, it comes with a Celeste, so you hear that. It's a very lush Celeste there. I like that a lot. And then the four-foot principle you said was originally eight-foot. Eight-foot pitch. Uh, it's the same scale, still has its slot. So you just started at tenor C down here? Yes. And here I still have that same broad darkness, but if we combine it with the gedeckt and the viola, I'm wondering if we get enough of a principal sound uh, to be believable. It does that very well. Indeed, yeah, okay. And then the um, harmonic flute, is that original it's as original. well? Okay, so that was a... Just regulated. Yeah, it's a very gentle flute there. And very colorful. And then we had uh, an oboe, oh, an oboe a yes. read from the original, so let's listen to this. A colorful little pretty read there. And the only thing that's been done to it is uh, it still has its original tongues, mm -hmm. but it was gone over and made respectable. Just cleaned up a little bit. Yeah, it's very nice. I like it a lot. So that was all of the original stuff in the swell. Right. And then we had two stops in the pedal, the Borden, which is this. Nice full 16 foot. And then a Contra Dulciana. And the bottom 12 are wood. And wooden butts. I mean, it's original configuration at the Methodist Episcopal North, it was wood all the way to Oh, North really? 30. But now it's an extension of... <laughs> it's very colorful, but man, is it soft. So we can actually play that. You've got it at 16 foot on the grate. Yes. If we add that to the eight. Very quiet rumble under there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that sound a lot. All right. Um, well, that's everything that was the Bennett. And so uh, since then, some additions have been made. Um, I'm going to go back to the grate and talk about what uh, we've changed there. Sure. First of all, the 16 foot, as we mentioned, is now available, borrowed. Um, and with the 8 foot, we have an Undamaris now. Yes. So let's hear that. Which is Hutchings. Okay, a Hutchings Undamaris. Once again, very soft and very gentle, but just some wonderful accompaniment. I like that sound a lot. And then when you add the dulcet, you get a oh, even right. more mysterious. And it helps when the box is shut, so it doesn't fade into oblivion. <laughs> very nice. All right. Um, then we have a uh, four-foot octave. Yes, and that is Kilgan from a Kilgan tracker of unknown origin that uh, Gus Brummer put in in 1950. It's been deslotted and regulated. Okay. I 
They still have that early 20th century kind of sound with yes. it. But let's put it with the, the diapason and see uh, what we get. That's enough to accompany a hymn in this room, I think. With a smaller group. <laughs> uh, so our principal chorus continuing there, we did. We do have a two foot 15th. And it's on. Moeller from 1982. 82. Let's just listen to a little bit. Yeah, a little, not, not as big, but has some uh, brightness to it. And then continuing on up, we have uh, a mixture. A mixture which uh, was added by me in 1974. Mm -hmm. And it was, uh, it's a one and a third pitch at low C. And it was built by Lockoff. Okay. Yeah, big bright. Definitely a full chorus there. And of course, as we said, it can all be closed down into. It's very handy to yeah. have the, the great under expression. If you want that full chorus sound, but you don't have enough people to really sing over it, you can just push it back down. Push it back down. <laughs> all right. Um, so uh, we mentioned the four foot dulcet, the dulciana is available at 16, 8, and 4. Uh, but that's all of our flues in the great. Um, yeah. We have uh, a clarinet. clarinet. Yeah, I'm excited. Where did this clarinet Austin, come from? Austin, uh, 1956. Okay. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, all right, very nice. And we'll. Talk about the swell. We should say there is a trumpet that you borrow from the swell. We'll come back right. and hear that over there. Um, but uh, in the swell, we've added um, first thing that's new is a two foot fifteenth, correct? Yes. So that's Hook and Hastings. If we add that to the principal and then Gedeckt in Viola da Gamba. Yeah, it's a nice full chorus there. Out of just those. And then we have a mixture in there as well. 1956 Austin. Okay. Yeah, nice big principal chorus there. And that's using the Gedeckt and the Viola da Gamba as the eight. Now we also have a Sesquialtera, two ranks. Moeller, 1982. So Moeller. From Tennessee. From just Tennessee. Sounds very fluty. Yes. So I'm going to add the Gedeckt and the uh, harmonic flute. Very nice. But now I'm going to, what does it sound like with the principal? It changes it completely. You can even put on the viola da gamba. Add the two foot 15. All kinds of solo capabilities oh, just with the addition just of those mix two rings. <laughs> to your heart's content. <laughs> what fun. All right. And then our trumpet. 1956 Austin. Or Austin. Yeah, big bright trumpet there. Which we can close down. And then that's uh, extended to four foot. Four foot. All right, so we can have both octaves. And then a little subcoupler. And that 16 foot it continues down into the pedal, pedal. as well. So we have, uh, we have an eight foot trumpet down there, but then there's also a... And I forgot to mention that the bottom octave of the trumpet is Wix. So that bottom 16 foot octave, yes. which here it is in the pedal. rumble down there. Very good. Well, that's everything that's in the swell then. Um, 
Now the pedal, in addition to the two ranks we had, you've added a diapason. Diapason unit. Uh, now, is that, that's a unit from the great diapason? Nope, it's oh. its own. It's its own, so. So that's available at 16 yeah, eight and, and then four. eight foot. With a four foot. Super yeah. octave. Nice to have all that independent because we also have the 16 foot Borden, yes, which is available at 16, eight, eight, and then four. Very good. And then um, we have an uh, completely independent, I believe, independent 16 foot oboe, 16 foot contra oboe, Aeolian Skinner 1931. Wow, out of a residence organ. Oh. <laughs> Nice to have that little quiet rumble that you can, again, close down. Borden and uh, just give us a nice, yeah, a nice, a nice, rumble. nice rumble underneath. It's very soft. This is really amazing. And how many ranks do we have total now? 30. So 30 ranks, really versatile. A lot of things you can do to mix and match colors. Um, and must be a lot of fun to play. It is. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, I can't wait to look around and see inside. We got all these to show it to you. Right. This is the swell. Uh, along the, starting on the back wall is the uh, sesquialtra uh, on a molar mixture chest that we put a no, new toe board and the trebles ended up on the flauto dulce chest from Highland Park United Methodist. And the Peterson Demux side is right below. And then while you're underneath the uh, pedal board and reservoir, uh, trumpet reservoir, trumpets on five inch wind, rest of the organs four and a half, and the uh, pedal 16 foot borden. And Mr. Brummer's addition of treble pipes of, from some location. From the wind chest was new uh, on this side 25 years ago to replace the very complicated Bennett chest. And from the rear is the uh, viola de gamba, the gedeck, the celeste, the four foot principal, the harmonic flute, the two foot mixture, oboe, walkboard, and trumpet, and the wick 16 foot trumpet. And behind me is the Aeolian Skinner 16 foot contra oboe on its chest. And it's opus 915. And the swell shades with the modification are new and and the chests were made for a different configured chamber than what we have now after the, rem the most recent remodeling, which was very good to do since we got to uh, do what should be done with MDF and drywall, so it reflects out of here very well. It used to be blown by Oh, originally, when I first knew the organ, a simplex blower, uh, which Mr. Brummer got from somewhere, and then later got a uh, Spencer. Come on. There we go. And now two lock-offs with static 
uh, reservoirs in their locations. Much more room for you to get around in here and explore. There we go. This is the Great Division and the chest is new. The only thing that was kept from the old chest was the uh, manifold box. <laughs> um, and Mr. Brummer provided a Kilgan Reservoir at the time of the remove and it's just been re-leathered. Uh, and the Winker is Aeolian Skinner. And from front to back is the eight foot diapason, uh, the whole flute, and then the four foot octave, the stop flute four, the mixture four, and then the two foot. And the reason the two foot is there at an earlier time, the clarinet had been on this chest. So when we had more space to move out and something else to add, it seemed a logical way to do. And the old facade pipes from the south building, these are Reuter pipes. And then I'll squeak over. And the clarinet. And this is the Dulciana original in the chest that uh, Mr. Brummer added. And then the Undamaris, which came from the Hutchings at Westminster Congregational in Kansas City. And here is that wooden Dulciana. Michael, thanks so much for showing us the, uh, your organ here at First United Methodist in Warrensburg, Missouri. It's fantastic to see. I know this has kind of been an evolution over a lot of years, uh, but wonderful what you can do with this great instrument. Um, if people want to talk to you or come find out about Quimby Organs, what's the best way to uh, reach your company? Uh, you can uh, email us at qpo, the number one, at earthlink.net. You can call at uh, the main office at 660 seven four seven three zero six six and with a couple weeks notice we do tours <laughs> wonderful well we'll make sure all that information is down in the description for the video so people can find you if they want to come see some quimby organs i hope we'll be uh, touring some more of yours uh, very soon thank you in the meantime remember to subscribe to our channel if you like this video give us a thumbs up uh, we hope to be bringing you some more videos from this part of missouri very soon uh, in the meantime you can always find streaming classical organ music on our three streaming stations organlive.com positively broke and the organ experience Thank you again, Michael. Thank you very it's much. It's been wonderful to come to Warrensburg. I'm Brent Johnson. I'll talk to you next time.